the day 48 of this uh, raghava vachana we see the promise and the vow of sri ram and how he protects his devotees at any given point of time so the verse goes like this padhim raghava che sadha bhridhaga je bale bhag ராகவா So here we have used twice the word uh, Raghava in two different contexts. One is Raghava Achi, that of Sri Ram, that belongs to Sri Ram. And Dasa Abhimane, that he is always proud of his devotees. Raghava is always proud of his devotees. So in the first case, Raghava Achi, that which belongs to sri ram what is this he says padim ragavanche that anklet that he uses on his feet is one form otherwise padim can also be taken as the padas the words that we utter on sri ram about sri ram of sri ram whatever it is of ragava that says sadha bhrida gaji that itself is the vow which speaks of the protection always that is what he proclaims ragava he says my anklet is my vow or he says my name you take my name that itself is a vow that i shall protect that is the pledge that the ragava says here the anklet padim ragava ji sada bridha ga ji in fact even you how i must have heard of that famous ramanjaneya yuddham where sri ram and hanuman had to encounter due to some the story is different you know where hanuman gives protection for one and there comes they come together then hanuman he says okay you release him or you come for a battle that is what rama says to hanuman then hanuman says i have taken a vow that i am going to protect him i shall never leave him i can't take my weapons against you therefore i'll not take the weapon also and as per the rule of warfare nira yudha means a person with a arm should not be fought with you are not supposed to fight an unarmed person that is yuddha niti then ram says then where is it how is it how can i do then he says my rama nama jabam itself is my armor is my weapon you shoot arrows then he sits and he sings rama 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 he continues then for the surprise none of the arrows will be in a position to penetrate it creates a shield and finally he takes his rama bhana that is supposed to be a most powerful one which has no failure and then of course then all the gods come together and say it is only a test and the rest but here the main thing is not to side track with the stories and the main thing is one who takes the name of the ram itself is a pledge and it protects him each one of us so here he continues with 
भले भक्त री पूशी री खाम बिवाजी सो ही से इस भले द माइटी ले आन बन ओ भक्त री पूशी री हा हा सी दैट सी दैट that mighty armed one he aims his arrow at the head of the devotee's enemy in the sense the moment we think of sri ram sri ram not only takes care of us but even people who are against us even our enemies he shall put them to an end how kambhim vaji so he not take an arrow and shoot kambhim means the sound of the string you know a bow it has a string you pull that string to the maximum and then you leave it at resonate vaji this kambhim vaji by the resonance of the string all the enemies they get vanished i don't say killed they can be transformed i know a lot of people you know initially they may do lot of bad and finally they turn out to be good they come back to you and then they repent they say i'm sorry i done like this yes he creates that in their heart in their mind how just by the sound of the string the mighty am one next he says puri vahili sarva jene vimani hmm? so puri is the city we call it as sarve all jene means people or whoever are there in that puri vimani vimani means in, in, in the plane he takes everybody in the city in his plane you know that the sri ram has a pushpaka vimana which he got from lanka where he flies to ayodhya and you know the story so here he says that here what we are supposed to understand by puri here puri is navadware puri as it is said means this particular body which has the nine gates or the nine openings so in which resides the self we say that self will be uplifted means the ignorance will be removed tamasoma jyotir gamaya he says you shall overcome death mrutyorma amrutam gamaya because he takes us along with him so the nine gates i did not tell you you know the two eyes the two ears the two nostrils the mouth the genitals and the anus some people say it is 10 some people say it is 12 whatever it is number however they calculate you know based on different different things but yes but basically common is 9 that is the standard one we take there is a navadware puri this puri this city of nine gates will be carried by him will be uplifted by him into the spiritual world into the world of ayodhya so we have shambhala all krishna devotees they say will go to shambhala all rama devotees they say they go to ayodhya whatever it is the, the meaning is will be at peace happy always then he says rupekshi kada ramadasa abhimani so ram is proud of his devotees and protects them surely forever so stay put in ram bhakti forever because he is the only savior of ours just once again we'll read that 
పధీరాఘవాంచి సదాభృదాగాజే బలే భక్తి రీపూషిరే కాంబింబాజి పురీవాహిలి సర్వజేనే విమాని రూపేక్షి కదా రామదాసాభిమాని దేస్ శ్రీరామ్ ఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ ప్రౌడ్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ డివోటీస్ ప్రొటెక్టింగ్ డ్యామ్ ఫార్ షోర్ సో వి కన్క్లూడ్ దిస్ ఇయర్ అండ్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ బీయింగ్ విత్